Hey folks, Coolie Keen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Europe Universalis 4 as, uh, I was gonna say Burgundy, but we're of course in the Netherlands at this point. Hey, I can become the uh, Defender of the Faith. I think it's a little too early for that, um, just because we don't really have the finances to handle that. And I really, really do want to go to war with Brittany, um, but I'm not sure that, well, actually we might be totally fine to do that. Uh, because we, we are down on manpower, and it would be nice to let that recharge, especially if we're getting, like, religious problems. Who are you, Cleves? Why are you in my territory? I don't know, whatever. Let's join up there, because that's where our general is, actually. It sucks that we don't actually have a general in this fight, so we're going to lose some extra dudes for no reason whatsoever. But that's life. Mm-hmm. All right. Merge. We're going to... Split off half. There we go. Select this unit, which is actually a reasonable comp uh, composition. You join over here. Okay. But we definitely have too many cavalry. To the point where I might just, like, cut off half of these guys. Just disband half of them. And replace them with infantry. Especially when I'm doing carpet siege nonsense. I think that's a good idea. Now, what annoys me, though, is that if I do this, it doesn't return it to the manpower pool. It saves me some money, but that's it. Merge, grab. Oh, yeah, that does nothing, yeah. Split. Because what's my counts right now? We I mean, see it looks fine here. The problem is when you're doing the carpet siege. Yeah. Meh. I'll tell you what. I'll split off this guy here so I don't waste any manpower reinforcing him. That that's a start. And then how many actual units of um 6 and 6? Yeah, so that's still not an ideal ratio. And that's it. Those are all my armies. Oh, and then I have the one scattered about. Where's my navy? Which I ignored for a lot of the last bit. Uh, you are going to split off and get on this ship uh, in a second. Not yet. Randomly lost manpower. Luckily, we were basically at zero manpower, and you can't go negative. I've used that trick a little bit recently as well. Cleves is helping out with us. Who are you? Are we? No, we have no relationship whatsoever. All right, good. Excellent. Let's go to Normandy. I'm going to take out Brittany. around that way. Or could we get a better relationship? Actually, we might just be able to get a diplomatic one. I'm trying to remember what other modifiers we can pick up here. Because we're only 11 off. We don't have much of a way of a relationship. If I do Royal Mary and... Because you will do that as is. We Royal Mary. Am I the uh, Curia controller? I am. Good. Good, good, good. So let, let's do that. And we'll find out what happens here. Um, I, the reason I checked the, uh, the Curia controller thing is to make sure that I can break things afterwards. You know, we probably should just wait. They will... The tax base will uh, change over and be less stupid once I vassalize these guys. So you know what? We'll just do the alliance thing. It's okay. We don't need to go to war. We will let our manpower recharge a little bit more effectively. Uh, you guys all meet up. Um, yeah, all meet up here. And we'll organize things afterwards. Yes, yeah, so let's take that. It sends up over our diplomatic limit, but that's fine with me. And yeah, they won't take it. If we can improve our diplomatic reputation, it'll help. We actually lost a point somewhere, which is kind of annoying. Um, and let's get started local nobility what what is this local nobility bullshit oh France what oh that is brutal okay well I mean we don't really have a choice I think um, champagne would would you like Picardy Mm 
Mm, that's a real shame. Does anyone have a core on Oven? Oh, I could actually release it. Picardy, there's no such thing. Um, do I soak up a whole other relationship here? Do you have any other cores? No. 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 Eat up another relationship. Or spend the extra points. That's a good question. Um, so 123. Or minus one diplomacy for... Well, let's see. It'd be like five years? Ten years before we can actually annex them. Effectively, it's going to cost me. So about 120 dip... You know what? We'll just annex them. It's fine. We'll start with Picardy. Yeah, all right. We get both. And then we'll keep our Cardinal. So you guys merge, split in half, get slightly better balance, and then spread around. We're going to keep you around because we're going to get some uh, religious rebellions and craziness like that. Do we have... Uh, no war exhaustion is fine. Still have not boosted our stability, but that's okay. Now. If I... What's the highest revolt risk? Actually, Venom and Picardy makes a lot of sense, but what about Burgong? Where is that mostly coming from? Ah, religious stuff. Yeah, we don't want to go to war right now. We want to keep our dudes in place because we're going to have to worry about rebels. Um, you there are getting on a boat. These boats... Oh, before I move you, though, where's my explorer? Um, ooh, yeah, that's... Oh, there's Portugal. Um, yeah, let's remove you, Mr. Leader. We're going to grab this stack of three over here. We're going to give them a leader. And then we're going to grab our ships so that we can move over here and drop him off. Actually, I say that. No. Can I cancel that? Because these guys are just there to babysit a new future colonist. That was the wrong button. Or the wrong dude. Uh, you over here, no leader. Select, get on a boat, come here. Because we want the explorer. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to babysit, drop them off somewhere to babysit a colony. Which means that you over here can still be an explorer. Alright, that's fine. Portugal. Get in my way. What's the tax base of that place? Five. Which is a little bit better. Four. I could grab uh, Zeri's over here just to colony block them. Um, maintenance. Hmm. Well... It's an interesting question. How low do I want to go, considering the fact that I also have to defend my colonies? I might have to fight some religious rebels over here. Probably not very low. Yeah, I'm gonna, definitely going to take that. I'll set to like three quarters. Just an extra couple of gold a month, but that's as low as I want to go. Poor England. Look at that. I really should go and like take over Cornwall or something when I've got a chance. You got a CB. We have claims on some of their provinces? Oh, oh, right, the, the event we just got. Derp, derp, derp. Very handy. Sucks to be you, France. Um, if I just increased our relationship, would that work? I don't think it does, but let's, let's go and see what happens. Trying to diplo vassalize Brittany. Well, it'll happen eventually. What is it? 53 before we can actually annex these guys. Yeah, I don't know. But no one joined a coalition against us, which is actually kind of surprising. So if we go and check, uh, especially, say, Austria. Right. They... Aggressive expansion, minus, minus 27. It happens really easily now these days. Yeah, no coalition. What is this? We're claiming the throne of Milan. Really? That's a thing we're doing? Go us. Penal colony in Guadeloupe. Sounds good. Yeah, more local revolt risk. Uh, but only for five... Oh no, quite a long time, actually. But increases the settlers, so it'll settle a lot faster, but then be incredibly annoying afterwards. You know what? Sounds good. Let's grow that fast. We'll have to deal with the rebellion at some point, which will actually be a huge pain in the ass because it's an island. That may have made, been a mistake. We'll see exactly what happens down the road. Probably should... Just, I don't even need the troops on here. I could have just done the exploring first. Especially I should have just used the bark to do it. 
left all the transports behind. Yeah, that's all pretty reasonable, actually. Hmm. Well, we'll do that on the next trip. Uh, where are we getting attritioned? Wait, what? I have guys here? The hell? That doesn't make any sense. Why did I have a set of people on a boat just eating manpower for the entire war? Thanks to attrition. Okay, let's pull that up. Uh, Inquisitor. Now, the Inquisitor, is that the one... Be under here, right? Can't remember the things. Missionary strength bonus, which... I wonder, if would that be enough to send us over the top anywhere? Probably not. So we get the Papal Influence, or Admin Power. Oh, well, we'll get, we'll get the uh, Admin Power, obviously. All right, we should be fine here, and indeed we are. Good. That's despite the fact that we're running at 75% maintenance. There's a mod that I recently saw that adds all the map mode buttons to the bottom of the screen, and it looks great. I think I'm going to be picking that up. I'm going to drop you off on uh, Lesser Nemalakanan. What is my... Okay, I can colonize there. I mean, I could probably colonize a little bit further as well. But that's okay. I'm going to use the ship to expose the fog of war um, more than anything else. And just leave these guys in a general area so they're not attritioning actively right now. Still going to be a pain to colonize down here, but obviously grabbing as much of... Well, not... We don't need a lot of Africa. We just need some of Africa so that we can... Um, we can have trade range and colonization range and all that. So you guys just sit tight. You're doing fine where you are. Meanwhile, you over here can keep on exploring. See if Portugal's got anything else of note. Diplomats are available. We should actually start to make max friends with both of our uh, vassals here. And, oh, we're already sucking up to Normandy. Well, you can stop at this point, which is fine. So, 33, yeah. So, five more years. And we're making friends over here. All right. And no one else should vassalize these guys. So we'll get, we'll get in there one way or another. As soon as we increase our tax base, which will also happen... Well, actually, here's a few things. Council of Milan. Council of Cremona. Pope. Catholic something. Willing to admit... Oh, Protestant complaints are valid, which means we can do the Counter-Reformation. Which is cool in some ways. But uncool in others. And we may actually want to become Protestant. Like, I've been fighting this off, but the Protestants can actually... I think if you switch to Protestants, you can make more money. And we are very money-driven. How come I'm still moving there if I've already discovered it? Like, I don't know what all the modifiers are. And to a certain extent, I want to kind of let things happen organically. Just see what happens one way or another. I don't like to min-max these religious changes in this particular case. Just want to see what happens. Ah, there's the military coalition. I was going to say, in this patch, as of patch 1.5 especially, uh, military coalitions happen very quickly. Um, but, I think right now it's only France, which is fine. Although certainly if we were to go and start fabricating claims, or certainly annex anything more, it's very likely that others will join in. They're going to have a lot of aggressive expansion. Well, not that much. It's actually a manageable number. Hmm. Morale of the navies, but can we get... Ooh, that is very expensive. I really like the diplomatic reputation guy. In fact, it would be helpful right now for vassalizing people and also fighting uh, HRE influence. Um, oh, that's what I was going to check. Hello, temples? More temples. Temples increase our tax base, which makes it easier for us to do diplo vassalizing. So we're going to get that going. Um, we could also build um, constables. There. Now, that doesn't actually increase your tax base. It makes you get more money from taxes, but that's all. Um, oh, looks the Falklands. Not an island this time. You keep doing that. Meanwhile, how's our ships doing? Are you fully reparated? You are. So, I will actually grab this stack of things here. Grab you guys. You are going to get dropped off over here. Or dropped off somewhere. I, I want a stack of five dudes to defend against the, like, hyper-aggressive uh, African natives. Norway has no more religious turmoil. Good for them. 
Yeah, it's coming along nicely. Are we fully reinforced? Basically, yes. Good. How are we doing force limit wise? Pretty much there. Okay. All right. We dropped off our dude guys here. Um, what are we going to do? Split the stack. Move half of them there. Algiers, Tunisia, Tripoli, Fez. Man, Fez. I love seeing Fez every time they pop up. Look at Naples. You're cruising for a bruising here as soon as the Ottomans decide to get feisty, my friend. Ukraine, Crimea, nothing bad or complicated is ever going to happen there politically. We know that for a fact. Muscovy, Novgorod, Peskov. Novgorod is funny. It's like down to just their capital at this point. Uh, no, actually that looks like all Muscovian yellow. So they're certainly going to fall soon enough, which means that we'll probably get a Russia forming sooner rather than later. Although the AI is sometimes really bad at forming Russia. And obviously they do have to wait for tech level 10 on top of that. Let's fight more there for that Cardinal. Although that's a lot of... Why well, is 46? Or 49? What was it? 49. That's not too bad. It's not too old as far as these Cardinals come, so still worth fighting over. It sucks though, sometimes you spend all your time fighting over this one guy for like 20 years and then he just dies. Um, and there's not really a way to predict that ahead of time. Let's go and pop the last few things over here. Good stuff. Alright, I'm mostly fine with still letting things just, you know, just tick up and recover and do those things. Although, we still could go to war with Brittany. I mean, I could break all this stuff, but... Aha! So there we go. That's the sort of stuff I figured would start happening. Where's the one with our leader? There. Uh, Champagne? No. Premature. Okay, well, we'll go... No leader leader. Okay. New Pope. Dake feud? Dak feud? Crush the rebellion. What the hell's going on in Sweden? Hmm. I don't know. Why are you asking me? We've got a Rome. We've got a this. We've got a that. Okay. Still feeling pretty okay with how things are. Oh, ships. Uh, you are going to be attrition to death in a second here. Probably because I'm not babysitting you. Let's drop off those folks. And I gotta split off of the other uh, cogs as well. That's part of it. Come back over here. Um, we could build a dock to improve repair speed, which actually is probably not a bad idea. Let's do that. Uh, meanwhile, over here, are you getting attrition? No, you're not actually. I'll we'll split you off two anyway. I feel like I'm supposed to be remembering something that I started, but I don't. Oh, that's too bad. Could really bump up the speed. To four. See what happens when those buildings get complete. See if it makes a difference. Probably not. Bohemia wants access. These are not... Uh, you're against Savoy? I will decline. That yeah, should be fine. That's fine as well. Hello, Portugal. How's it going? Meanwhile, oh, that's what I need to remember is the fact that I need to split off the cogs here. There we go. And just leave the bark with the explorer. That's exactly what I want. Meanwhile, uh, maybe I should just colonize this place since I am here. Oh, I don't have a colonist anyway, so that's okay. How are my colonies doing? Oh, only about halfway done. Auto save. Manpower starting to recover. Defender of the Faith could kick in. Religious unity with Austria. Yeah, so Austria is uh, really building up the um, the imperial authority there. Hmm. Now, one of the things I could do is just, like, vassalize via war, say, three of the electors. And that's probably going to be enough to ensure that I'm in charge. But I don't think I want to mess with the game. I have another game going on right now is Austria. Um, and that's why I'm thinking I've, I've sort of changed my mind about getting involved politically here. Like, I've already done that. I'm not as interested anymore. Um, yeah, we'll go with the national tax modifier because stability basically is 10% tax different. With the, the only difference being that you can manually bump up the stability. Which I'm not going to do now because of my overextension. Not to mention the uh, religious unity problem. 
I don't have any more, like, relevant decisions, do I? That I've disabled? Like, no, that's a different one. Spread of the Reformation, again. We might just become reformed. We're going to see what happens. Savoy. You're 30. Oh, it'd be a noble from my house. Even without pressing anything. Because we've claimed the throne of Milan. We have a claim there. We could throw a claim on Savoy as well, but I think that would be maybe a little too aggro. Especially since it's going to be of our dynasty, so we might get a personal union sort of organically. Okay, we've got both Protestants and freaking Reformed people. What does our religious makeup look like? Uh, and Castile, stop being a douche. So, oh, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between Protestant and Reformed. Ugh, it's not pretty, whatever it is. Mainz, you are fighting against... Whatever. Sure. Fine. Hey, tech! Oh, military tech. We ahead of time? Mm, no. You have 10% discount thanks to Imperial Integrity. Yeah, but... Eesh. At some point, we're going to be fighting Austria. Alright, well, let's take it. We get an upgraded gun. Combat width, cavalry fire, infantry shock. All very good things. Blammo. So... Give us my pop-up for the unit types. I'm not wrong. We should get upgraded unit types, no? Yeah. Uh, large cannons. Large is better, right? <gasps> France declared war on Barry. Hmm. I would have still had a truce on France regardless. Although, maybe I should have allied there. Hmm. Well, they're obviously going to take it. I mean, I could continue to overextend myself in many different diplomatic ways. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to stand by and watch. The Dake feud ended. Um, troops loyal to the state once again control all provinces. Yeah, I don't know what was going on in uh, in Sweden there, which has got quite a bit of land. But good on you. Congratulations for winning that. Meanwhile, I forgot all my ships are still at freaking sea. Hang on, you guys. Dock up. Oh my god. No one's patrolling trade zones. And we really could be building some more ships as well. I did take the quest to expand that. Um, when is the next time I get a naval upgrade? Carex upgrade at level 15. Okay, so these are new, so I could build more heavy ships. Or I could just go with more caravels. Um, same thing. I think I actually do want some heavy ships at this point. Some more heavy ships. Boom. Meanwhile, what node do I want to do things in? Probably pull things in from Bordeaux. Since I have pretty damn good control over Antwerp, I think I will get more value out of just sucking the trade out of either one, really. Probably do Bordeaux, just because fuck France, right? Uh, we lost our Conquistador. Okay, we'll have to do something about that pretty soon. Uh, no leader, grab these 21 light ships. Actually... Let's split it in half. We'll send half to Bordeaux and the other half to London, which I suspect is what I used to have. So we lost our Conquistador, who's over here. And I really should move off of this at some point. I think I'm going to keep a Conquistador here, though. Switzerland. Okay. Oh, that's a border there. Wow, that's a lot of points here. Uh, too many pop-ups. Wait, we lost them already? No, we didn't. Okay. Random battles. Colonial expansion. Political and economic pressure at home has made a way for a sudden increase in the number of people looking for a better life in rich uncharted lands. Expand colonial borders. We gain 200 population in Martinique. Lose a little bit of money and get expanded colonial territory for two years, which gives us a better chance. Or it's too expensive. Oh, no, no. Let's... Freaking 30 ducats. 
Oh, and the Instapops Martinique. Actually, probably should have checked to see what the uh, the actual population numbers were there. I just imagine that we like wasted some of that, but that's fine. Toulouse, who are you fighting? You're fighting against Castile. Um, I can't remember. We're no longer friends with Castile, right? Or are we? Yeah, no. Castile feels threatened by us? Really? Oh, wait. No. That war with Toulouse. Hmm. Oh, and Ermanyak I should do something with. You know, I should go to war with Brittany. Since they're defending against Fran- Hello. What a perfect time. Let's, let's do this. Let's go to war against Brittany. And... Oh, come on, let's, let's figure this out. I know, I keep switching my mind back and forth on this. Because I kind of want everything. But what a great time to strike, isn't it? Because... Wow, we do have the relationship. I don't know. Should I overload myself and also pick up Admaniac? I'm just... I think the answer is yes. I think I should. Plus, I want to protect all these guys against the likes of France and Castile. Yeah, alright, we're going to do that. We don't have to actually go to war right now. We're just going to overload our diplomatic relationship status. It's fine. It's fine. So we're losing two diplomatic points a month. Who cares, right? Get the alliance going, which is actually the most important part. Good. And then we will make sure to max out our friendship at some point. Not that we actually have to rush the matter, but we may as well do it, even though we've got a pretty good status already. Actually, hold on. Derp. I can just do this now. I forgot about that. Hold on. Stop improve relations. Because I'm at 190, and thanks to the released in peace mostly. So let's vassalize these guys right away. Um, what happened? What happened to her? Oh, all of a sudden I got an allied to rival penalty. Ugh, seriously? That's really annoying. No, I'm, I'm not helping you. I'm gonna do whatever I can to make your life slightly more annoying, Castile. Oof, that hurts. Poor uniforms, that sucks as well. This is very annoying, Castile. Stop doing that. Keep exploring things over here. That's fine. Oh, my ships! Cogs, you guys... Well, you're going to make a pit stop in Navarra. And then regroup with the rest of the uh, armada there. Meanwhile, this bark with an explorer. You'll go there. And then come home. Really, I just want the province, like, right at the very tip. Just the tip. That is, I believe, the one with the most value. Plus, it's just, like, a nice, convenient location. Because people can't really avoid that sea zone. It gives you some pretty important control. Uh, what do we have going on here? Scientific revolution. 5% cheaper technology cost. Oh, geez. Yes. Um, now, this is innovation ideas. Do I need administrative power for anything else? I would like to go up in stability, but I've got to wait until things finish coring for that regardless. Um, you know what? I better take this because I'm likely to take another technology without like paying attention to things and forgetting that I've got a 5% discount coming at me. There we go. Some nice carracks there, which will have land in Picardy. And... What we're going to do is we're going to wait a little bit longer to build a few more, but I do still want to complete that mission. Recall Diplomat. Still not interested, eh? 
We lost our explorer. Oh, that's not good, because that's on our ship, isn't it? And I can't... Okay, he's going back home, though, so that's all right. And you, explorer. Phillips. Wait for that to get repaired. There it is. Um, yeah, losing the stability sucks. But I generally like centralizing my, um, my tax base. But... Ability cost modifier is cheaper. Morale of the army penalty for 20 years. Like, that's the thing. How do you deal with a 10% morale penalty for 20 freaking years? I think I've got to take the stability hit. That's right. It's not the tax base thing. Ugh. So we're going to go to minus one stability. Yeah, we'll have to accept it. I can't, I can't deal with that. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Come over here, actually. Maybe we'll babysit you. Maybe I should get another conquistador. Now, what am I currently at? Probably at... I'm already over, technically. Brr. And religious turmoil. Well, that must be nice. Hey! Excellent! Um, and because of the increased revolt risk that we've got going on, thanks to our penal colony... Um... Oh! No, I could have started another uh, colony really soon. Should I go down here? I don't think so. Because I don't think I'm going to have a real good chance to get in on this trade. I think I'm going to continue to expand over here. What trade zone are you in? Oh, now you are inland, but you're worth a little more. No, I should get I should get the, the sea border. Makes a lot more sense. We'll be over there. Okay. Really would like to get a little bit more stability, but what can you do? Let's babysit this guy. I'm hoping to expose this. Come on. Ah! Hey, there we go. We got our active cardinal. It paid off. Meanwhile, we'll go for the youngest one here. Compete with Oldenburg. Boom. 98%. No, okay. We can, we can make another step then. That's fine. And then go back over there. Over there. Doc, thank you. Still hoping that wiggling past here, they'll expose one of these other provinces. Because I do have my colonist available. Apparently I've had it available for a while now. Milan declares war on Switzerland. Alright. Whatever. As long as I still get to inherit you. Cult arms. Milan. Oh! Yeah. Then I will accept. So what does that look like? Well, not particularly threatening. Let's go ahead and uh, increase this. Um, are we even going to contribute? Actually, I think that we're going to go after Burn. Hey, 10 prestige. Excellent. I mean, we don't have a claim on it or anything, which definitely is a little on the sucky side. But I think that's okay. Um, we have no actual leader on that unit, but that's okay. And yeah, how many cannons do we need to get to the plus two? Just the four. So, select army, split off, grab the four cannons, leave a couple of infantry as well, and then pull back with the rest. Alright, that works. Oh my god. This phase in the game, you spend so much time like just wandering all over the freaking map. Back and forth. It's only a problem with colonial powers. I really... Oh, where is my explorer? He's over here. He's sitting idle right now. You know what? Should have done this ages ago. Grab you. Because I forget that you can assign explorers in, um, in uninhabited territory. Because I always think of it as it has to be friendly territory. But it's mostly just neutral territory. Ooh, that is entirely manageable although that's a big rebellion 12 units like i don't care you know what phase of the game you're in that's always a little bit scary okay good the cape that's what i'm looking for boom uh really all that time and that was actually too far away oh son of a bitch what if i get like an extra colonial range guy No. 
That's still too far. Ugh. Ugh, 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 ugh. Is there anything else we want? Um, I suppose I could grab something adjacent to the Congo just to get some CBs. How far am I from another colonial range buff? Not far at all. You know what? I'm just going to wait. <gasps> there was a pirate! Oh, noes! Oh. What is Milan? What are we fighting over? Burn. Oh. I don't think I'm going to be able to request it then. Hmm. Probably shouldn't bother getting attrition in the first place. Austria? No, this guy's mine. France declares war on Bourbonnais. How can you do that? Hasn't been that long since I released Jude Peace, was it? Hmm, I'm very concerned now. Maybe I messed something up. And how come I can't... Right, not while I'm at war. Okay, cancel. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. I don't have the war score. It's at 100%. Hmm. Made peace. Alright. That's okay. Meanwhile, alright, so apparently I, I annexed Champagne later than I thought. I wasn't paying attention to some of these numbers. Uh, we'll start annexing Normandy. And since the colonial range... Actually, I guess I do want to keep the 20% colonial range guy. That's part of my plan, isn't it? Now, maybe, then... How, f how much tech points do I need here? About 80 short, and I'm getting... Actually, not very much. I'm going to start colonizing another spot. Castile, look at you. I did not notice that. Want to grab another island? No. I need some extra dudes over here. Where are... Excellent. We're done colonizing. Um, or annexing. I got some cogs over here. Yes, good. So let me go and grab this stack over here. Move it to Picardy. We're going to move some more dudes into our colonies over here. I mean, I could also pick up my non-explorer guy over here. Let's go and release Willem. And transfer him... Oh, this recording's going on way too long. Transfer him over here. And then go and continue to explore. Love it. Can you be any less convenient? There we go. And do that. All right, and we're going to put a cut in here. We will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, folks.